Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, first off, my skin is doing so much better. Thank God, it's been a couple weeks, but I am in my car as you can tell because I'm about to go into Best Buy. I have to do this and then I have to get some gas and then later on this week, there's some more stuff happening. I have to get an ethernet cable for this thing that I'm doing. My room is upstairs, so my ethernet cable has to connect to our router and then I have to like string it up my stairs, let it like hang a little bit and then like go into my room. It's gonna be kind of interesting, but I have no idea where the ethernet cables are, but I'm at Best Buy and uh, hopefully I can find one that's long enough. <laughs> I did it! Yay! May or may not have forgotten to film in the store because I was super anxious, but I did it. This is what I got. They had some open packaged ones, but I wanted one that was brand new because you just, you never know with those. But yeah, it's like $40. It really took me like three minutes, which was really nice. And then now I have to go to Costco to get gas because I'm already almost out of gas from being at school for two days. So love that for me. Oh my God. The truck by me just drove off. There was somebody in there. They probably just saw me talking to a phone. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm never gonna see him again. Oh God, vlogging is weird, but I have to get used to this. Ethernet is the gray one. I just hooked that one in. Oh my gosh, let's just not even look at my cords. <laughs> All of the way down the steps. Welcome to my floor. I have a couple things to unbox or I guess like haul type stuff. A few of these, if you do follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these, but I'm just gonna start off with those because those aren't like as exciting as the other stuff. I got a tripod. This was the first one I bought. This is the Manfrotto tripod or something like that. And then I ended up also getting the Gorillapod 1K kit. This is the one that I used when I filmed at Disneyland, um, but I got this one just in case this one didn't arrive on time. This one did arrive on time because we had to reschedule the trip. Um, so now I just have this one. I thought about returning it, but I thought this might be good for vertical content, even though I can't stand vertical content. I thought this one might be kind of nice if I want to film some of that type of stuff and maybe it's like keyboard ASMR or like something that's on the desk. You're going to need something a little bit smaller than this big boy. So I got this one. It just opens like this. You can press this button, I think, and it turns this on the side. Ooh, press it, and then that. Did my ring light just turn off? I think that was the same setting, I'm not sure. Yeah, so this thing just turns if you press it, and then you can just like move it sideways and stuff like that. The reason why I ended up getting the other one is because if you have a camera on this, the camera I'm filming with, it's gonna get heavy, and this is very small to grip, and there is no texture on the handles at all. So if your hand are a little sweaty, you might lose your grip and my hands get sweaty. So that, that's a big risk with a thousand dollar camera on the tripod. So I ended up getting this one as well. I have an older version of this, not the same brand. It just doesn't work as well as this one. It was just part of like a whole DSLR set from my cousin. It's actually hers, she just gave it to me. So I got like a higher quality one. And what I noticed about the other one is I wrapped it around my bag whenever I wasn't using it. So like this, you can bend it and stuff like that. And while we were at Disneyland, I had to figure out where to put my camera when I had to use the bathroom. That was a challenge, I will say that. I ended up just using this and I would wrap it around my backpack, like one of the backpacks hanging on the hook, like ear or whatever. I would just wrap this around the backpack on the hook and it would stay. But then also if you guys see, it's got all these ridges on here. So you're not gonna lose your grip when you have this. So this one is just a lot safer than the other one. So this one would be like an at home type of tripod is probably my guess. This one's super cheap. This one I got on sale. I think this one was like $18. This one I think was 30 on sale. I think it's normally 50, but both are linked in my Amazon storefront if you do wanna get one. But of the two, I definitely prefer this one. So those are the tripods I got. And then I recently ordered stuff from Hollister. It's a big bag. I only got four things. But the stuff was on sale. And I only get stuff from Hollister when things are on sale just because their pants are pretty expensive. I think they're normally like $60. Oh. Okay. Mm what did that do? That didn't do anything. I have to cut the bag open. Hollister is the only store that carries the right size for me. My size is a little specific just because I am on the smaller end, but I also have long legs and it can make it a little challenging sometimes, but they measure by your waist, not just like one, two, three, because those are not accurate. Like every brand labels their clothes differently. So you could be a two in one place. You could be a zero in another one, or you could be a four. Like it's wild. We need to like fix this whole clothing thing. Like sizing should be one thing and that's it. So that's why I like the waist sizes because I know exactly what size my waist is. 
but there were some pants on sale and then I also got a hoodie and a top which I don't know if it's gonna fit me or not but everything was on sale and I also had a 5% off for my half birthday no $5 reward $5 reward because I think my brother bought something from Hollister and I used my phone number it's a win-win so let's start off oh my god I love the color oh my gosh we're starting off with the hoodie gosh I'm so excited I don't have this color yet but I got a green hoodie. It's kind of like an emerald green, maybe. I love this color on me. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, I want a dress in this color so badly. When would I wear a dress? Don't know, just really want one. This is a small, I hope it's a little oversized on me. I don't know, I think it's a unisex. I think it'll be a little baggy. Oh yeah, it's wide, it's wide. So it should be pretty baggy on me. So I'm excited, yay. I also got a new type of pair of pants. That was a mouthful. I have never worn cargo pants before. The pants I'm wearing right now, actually I think I wore these to Disney. They have a little pocket right here, but I don't really count that as cargo. These are a little bit different. I think the material is different too. I have no idea what type of color this is. It's not brown, it's not gray. I don't know, you, you guys can tell me. I have no idea. They are a different material. Oh my gosh, I hope these fit. They have just a regular pocket, then they have a second pocket, and then they have another pocket. This is the ultra high rise baggy cargo pants or something like that. I don't own baggy, so this is gonna be a little bit different for me. Okay, we're gonna save the best for last because I'm really excited for that one. So we're gonna do my top next. I don't know if this top is gonna work for me or not because it's linty. <laughs> It's really linty. I don't know what type of bra to wear with this, but this is the top. It's got like a little corset type of style. It does have the wiring, which I really, really like, but I don't know what I wear with it underneath because it has a hole right here, but I thought it was super cute. I love the whole corset, like wired bodice type stuff. Oh, beautiful, but I can never find things that actually fit me. And then last but not least, I have been eyeing these for so long. Oh my gosh. Finally got my hands on leather pants. They're baggy. So this is what it looks like. They're very slippery. I have one more thing to unbox that I'm very excited about, and it's something I also have been eyeing for a while. My friend Regain Riot, if you guys are from the Bloxburg community, you know who he is most likely. He kind of helped me with this because it's something I've been thinking about for a while, and he actually owns one, so he was able to kind of answer my questions, send me photos, that type of stuff. But if you guys know what a mic arm is, how do I explain this? A mic arm basically just holds your microphone so it's not on a stand. Actually, let me get my microphone. So right now, I use the Yeti microphone with just this very dusty uh, mic filter. I do want to get a smaller piece. I think there's like a, a rounded piece you can fit on top of this or on the side or something. But as you can see, my microphone is on a stand. And if you bump it, it can kind of rattle or if you hit your desk, it's gonna pick up all of that. So what a mic arm does is it basically has it in the air for you and then you can move the mic arm whenever you're not using it. So right now, every single time that I want to record, I have to take out my microphone and stick it on my desk. But with this, it's already ready to go. I just have to set it up myself, I think. But this, it's just ready to go. It slides so I can just like have it and then I can move it to side when it's done. I don't have to pick it up which is really nice because right now I switch my microphone and my headphone stand and I'm just tired of that. I want something easy, you know? So, ooh, I don't know how to show this. Oh god. I don't want it to fall. Here's what it looks like. Oh my gosh. These things are expensive. Oh yeah, this is the low profile mic arm. So this is why it's more expensive. The other mic arms are normally, I think like 20 bucks. This one is normally 100 but I found it for $20 off surprisingly. Yes, I know that's expensive. I did not want to spend that much, but I really wanted a low profile mic arm because the other one is just in your face and I don't like it. This is basically pieced together for me already. Oh, okay, so this turns like this. See how it's low? The other ones are like, well, I can show you because this has it as well. It like sticks out and it goes like this in front of you. But with this one, I could just have it flat. Look, I'm playing a flute. This is the piece that connects to your desk. So now I just have to set it up. So um, I guess we can do that now. So here's the situation that I'm dealing with right now. As you can see, my headphones are here. That's where my microphone goes when I'm not using the headphones. So they switch. So every time I wanna use my microphone, I have to pick up the cord, move this over. That usually happens. I have to move this back and then this goes here. As you can see, there's a lot of cords going on and we're just gonna ignore what's going on back there. I'm tired of this. So let's add the mic arm and see how it looks. Here is the little adapter. This is the one that works for this. Um, I think it goes like this. Okay, I think I got it. Doesn't look like it's going anywhere. I think it's okay. okay. Oh, it's crooked. <laughs> so I think this connects. Okay. 
So there's one more really cool thing about this piece right here. You cannot see. This piece is magnetic so i can slide my cord in here not sponsored by the way this is just really cool oh my gosh so i can talk into it like this i think and then when i'm done with it i can turn it it's completely out of the way i'm just now investing in this thing i can see my screens and i can see my keyboard at the same time that's one reason i didn't get the other mic arm because i couldn't see both at the same time this is so nice oh my gosh oh that's not on all the way this is good for if you're a gamer too i'm just a youtuber i don't game i mean i'm a gaming youtuber but i don't play other video games <laughs> oh my gosh i love this this was worth the money in my opinion holy cow i love it I love it, 10 out of 10. One day we'll tackle this, but it's not gonna be today. So I'm just adding this into the vlog, but I bought a mic filter for it. So here's what it looks like. Pretty cool looking actually, very fancy. It was a pain to get on, but it works. That is it for today, but I have so much more happening this week. Oh my gosh. I have my 100K photo shoot on Friday. Saturday, I have my taxes. Not looking forward to that. And then on Sunday, I am meeting up with an online best friend. I'm so excited. So yeah, I'll be vlogging that. That wood saw is really loud. So I'm just going to end here for today. Okay, bye.